it would not be better for you. Okay? Um, so those are some phrases you can say beforehand to stop getting, uh, I can't, uh, you know, I'm busy. Okay? Now, after they say I'm busy, if they say I'm really busy, you know, even if they say it afterwards, or some time to say, or they say, can you call me back? There's a couple of phrases that I say. Um, first of all, I go, Miss Jones, I would love to call you back. You always agree, okay? If you don't see the video on the objection cycle, the objection cycle says the first thing you always do is agree, okay? So, Mrs. Jones, I, I completely understand that you're busy, uh, and I appreciate that, and I'm really busy too, okay? And the last thing I want to do is mess up your busy schedule, right? That's one of the things I, I used to say, okay? Uh, if that doesn't work for you, okay, that's what I, I'll, I'll give you exactly what you say when people say I'm busy. Hey, Ms. Jones, I completely understand you're busy, and I appreciate that, and I'm really busy too, and the last thing I want to do is mess up your busy schedule, okay? However, I need to get, uh, you know, eight appointments in by Monday in order to stay on track for my job, and I would love to call you back next week, but if I don't get these eight appointments in this week, I won't even have a need to call you because I won't really have a job anymore. I need to get these eight this week. So is there any way you can squeeze me in? you know, Sunday morning, uh, you know, before you get started with your day at like 8, 9 o'clock, uh, or maybe even in the evenings. I do appointments all the way till 12 midnight, Mrs. Jones. So can you excuse me in at like 8 or 9 o'clock, just 9 o'clock at night, whatever works for you, okay? So another thing also you can say is I say, Mrs. Jones, after 20 minutes, uh, if you don't like me or my mom dresses me funny, you can totally kick me out the door. I get credit after 20 minutes. Okay, credit is a great word to use. Okay, I get credit after 20 minutes, Mrs. Jones. That's all I need. Okay, um, I used to do this all the time with people. Uh, after 20 minutes, you've cut the rope, you cut the penny. They're not kicking you out. Okay, so so the point is is that um, you know just say that. Uh, and some of you have the phone approaches where it actually that phrase is in the phone approach. Uh, something I learned from Aviva Bennett. Aviva Bennett. Uh, number two scholarship winner and over a hundred and hundred thousand dollars for the summer. Okay, so making over fifty thousand dollars for the summertime and number one in the silver cup race at this time of the video. Uh, you know, pretty good person. She says so. When the customer says I'm really busy, she immediately her response. And by the way, when you find your response, but before I tell you Viva's response here, when you find the response that you use, you use the same thing all the time. Okay. Now, if it doesn't work, you do it ten times. It doesn't work at it like you know eight of the ten times. Then change your response, make a different response. But the point is, once you get your response and you feel comfortable with that, phone time, guys, is is it's like robot. Okay, it, it shouldn't change every time. The only thing that should change is the, you know you're building rapport with the customer. But your actual approach should be the exact same approach over and over and over and over and over again. Nothing should change. Your objections should be the same replies to every objection all the time. My reply to my objection all the time is, Mr. Jones, completely understand that you're busy. Uh, you know, last thing I want to do is mess up your busy schedule. Uh, however, I need to get eight appointments done by Monday, so is there any way you could squeeze me in at this time or that time? By the way, I do appointments from 8 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning until 12 o'clock midnight, Mrs. Jones, to move around everyone's busy schedule. So after 20 minutes, if you don't like me, you just spin kick me out the door, and I'll, I'll, I'll totally I'll get credit after 20 minutes. So is there any way you can excuse me in, you know, Saturday morning, uh, you know, before you start your day or evening? It used to be all, it was all the time. I've got phone time in nine years, okay, but it's still ingrained in my head because that's how I used to do it every single time. So uh, Aviva Bennett's phrase, if you like Aviva Bennett's, was Mrs. Jones. So the customer said, oh, you know, I'm really busy. You know, could you call me back? So she, and, and her re response was, um, so Mrs. Jones, so what you're saying is you, you, you would love to help me out. You just need to fit it into your schedule. Okay, so that was her that was her phrase. That what that did is that it commits the customer to saying yes, I can do it as long as I put you in the schedule. Okay, so so uh, which is what they're saying if they say call me back. So she would go, Mr. Jones. So what you're saying is is that you want to help me, uh, you, you'd love to help me out, but you just need to fit it into your schedule. Sure. Okay. Now you get them to say yes, and you go, okay. Now you've committed them to saying yes. So now you just got to find a time that fits in their schedule. Well, it's like Mr. Jones. Well, I'd love to call you back next week, but I need to get you know, this appointment done uh, by Saturday. So uh, is there any way, uh, you know, by the way, I do appointments from 6 in the morning until 12 midnight to work on everyone's busy schedule. I don't want to mess up your schedule, but after 20 minutes I get credit and you can kick me out. So could we do maybe early in the morning at like 7 before you start your day or, you know, would later on in the evening at like 8, 9 o'clock be that good for you? Okay, and look at your schedule and pick some times. But that phrase, that was, that's her automatic phrase. You know, Ms. Jones, so you love to help me out. It's just that you need to fit it into your schedule. Is that correct? Yes, great. Now we can work with that customer, and we just got to find time to fit in the schedule. And guys, 
The point is you don't get off the phone until they say yes or no. If they say no, guys, if they get upset and they say, well, you know, if you're working with them, working with them, working with them, and you're giving them different times, and they finally go, look, I just don't want to do this, okay? Fine, guys, great, okay? Isn't it better for them to say that right there on the phone? So you can say, well, Mrs. Jones, well, hey, thank you for your time, and I appreciate your time. And, you know, and that's it. And you hang up as opposed to calling them back next time, and then they're like, oh, who are you? And then they tell you no next time, okay? If they don't want to do it, then they don't want to do it. That's fine. Just get them to say no, okay? No's are fine. Remember, yeses are good. Uh, no's are okay. Uh, but think about it. Call me back. All that stuff is unacceptable. That is an unacceptable phrase. Okay? So just be persistent on the phone uh, and handle the objections. Just like customers, when they say, I can't afford it, you don't just say, oh, okay, well, I'll see you later. Or they say, call me back. You don't go, Ms. Jones. Okay. Callbacks uh, later never work. All right? So, so that's just some stuff to help you out with. Um, you know, with some phrases that you can use. Uh, but again, the phone, the guys, that's the only one you have to deal with on the phone. Really, that's it. I mean, you can deal with, you know, what's the product and all that other jazz. That's that's not that's that's simple stuff. Um, the only thing that they have to tell you, if you could just handle call me backs and never got call me backs. And by the way, never start your phone time with callbacks either. I remember Joe Ginelli told me his manager, uh, Tim Barnes, used to make him cross off every time the customer said uh, call me back. If he if he accepted that, hung up the phone, he would just have to cross them off, and he would never call those customers back. He would that's what he would do. So that forced him to um, to either make them say yes or no. All right, so um, that's it. Let's use this information. Let's make sure you're on the phone tonight. I don't know what day of the week is. I don't know when you're watching this, but make sure you're on the phone tonight uh, and doing some phone time. Put this into practice.